don't forget your keys though. I love knitting. I love knitting as much as any of you probably and it's great, you know, but sometimes knitting can actually be bad for you. I have actually had issues with knitting in the past um, and I'll tell you about that. Let's grab a, grab a cup of coffee and uh, talk about that. This is my most recent knitting project. It is a chevron blanket, which I made out of scrap yarn because I'm still busy trying to minimize this, uh, this whole area. I want it reduced to two boxes. It's still three boxes at the moment. These are super easy to make. All you need is a um, multitude of 14 stitches plus two and then the two stitches go one in the front one in the back and then the pattern repeat is a uh, it's a 14 stitch repeat and it's could not be simpler and then you just pick up stitches at the border and um, make it look nice and finished this is obviously not finished yet because it has threads loose threads all over the place but you know Still need to do that and fix it but it's great as a lap blanket you can give these away as baby blankets and you are totally knitting away sash you don't need to invest in new yarns for this unless you don't have stash in which case congrats you're a better person than i am today i wanted to talk to you about how knitting can be bad for you six years ago I was not doing great. I just had a kid and I you know, was having a lot of feelings that young mothers have about am I doing the right thing? Is Am I doing the right thing for my child? I also hated my job. I was working at a pretty bad place and I won't go into it, but I needed to get out of there. I was pretty stressed a lot of the time. And uh, to compensate for that, I was doing a lot of knitting. I was also uh, looking for a new job and I work in tech and a lot of places made you do take home assignments, which is absolutely fantastic if you have already have a full-time job and a young child and have zero alone time, you know, take home jobs or take home assignments are fantastic. If your goal is to filter out mothers at workplaces, because they do not have the time for that, sorry. So I would spend many evenings sort of like hunched on the couch, stressed, typing on my laptop, sitting like this. And then to decompress after doing stressful stuff, I wanted to do more knitting. So then afterwards I would be like trying to knit away. And you will never guess what happened next. <laughs> I got tendonitis. So the thing that I got, there's a band that runs here that keeps all your tendons together and it got irritated and inflamed and it meant that doing this was extremely painful. I, like now I don't feel anything, but I could not do this movement. But it was getting really annoying because this is also the kind of movement movement that you do when you're picking up a small child. Um, this, I could barely do it. So I would just sometimes just kind of pick him up with one arm because I couldn't do this anymore. And so I went to the doctors and he said like, well, we can give you steroid injections in your thumb. I was like, mm, that doesn't sound great. And, or you can start with physiotherapy um, or he said, what you could try is stop knitting for a while. And he meant like zero knitting. And I was like, no, I, I can't do that because I need knitting to like relieve all this stress that I have. Um, so he's like, maybe it's a good time 
to talk to somebody about that. Thankfully, I just started a new job, which I liked a lot better. I did find a new job and it was actually at a place that didn't give me a take home assignment, but I was still not knitting and I didn't knit for four months. And I think for three months, my thumb, because this hurt and my wrist still really hurt. After that, like that final month, like the fourth month, I, I kind of forgot about it. And it, I suddenly realized like, oh, this is, it's not hurting anymore. Um, can I, can I pick up a, a project? Obviously it wasn't just the knitting. It was a combination of bad posture behind, um, behind my laptop. Be the stress of being a new mother, the stress of having a terrible workplace, the stress of the everything happening at the same time. But knitting did not make it better and actually not knitting for a while did make it better. But there are many people who have hand issues that they have from knitting. Um, and some of it might actually, this is what I've read on the internet, might actually progress into arthritis or arthritis-like symptoms. I'm not saying that knitting gives you arthritis, but from listening to many knitting podcasts on YouTube, I know that there are many people who have hand-related issues that are that get worse by knitting constantly and where people kind of knit through the pain. So there are many things that you can do to kind of like loosen up your hands and your fingers and kind of stretching exercises that you can do. Um, and you can find lots of these online. One of the biggest tips that I can give people is to take knitting breaks. And I don't mean like knit for eight hours a day and then take a whole month off as a break, but like take mini breaks during the day if you're knitting a lot, um, but also just going outside. Just don't, what you don't want to do is sit and knit for hours. It's just not great. And I know how tempting it is because sometimes you're just on one of those projects that's just like, so addictive where oh I, if i just add this row or if i just get to this color i can see how this project will start to emerge or maybe you're watching something on netflix and it's um it's just super addictive and you're just like sitting there knitting all that stuff just being mindful of repetitive strain injuries because that's what they these things. And obviously some people are just more susceptible susceptible to this than other people. So some people can just sit all day, terrible posture, just work like that for 30 years and they're absolutely fine. They have no issues. I find personally going out for a walk is the best thing. Here are things that you get for free from walking. It's free and easy. All you need to do is put your shoes on optionally put a coat on, grab your keys and walk out the door. It can reduce stress, improve digestion. Walking outside has been known to improve people's eyesight. Walking is forward motion and your brain loves forward motion. Um, this is why we like things like going fast in a car or like why people love running or cycling. There is something about forward motion that fights stress and you should totally look this up if you're interested in more about this. It's absolutely fascinating. Walking can increase the size of your hippocampus. Walking increases your creativity. It can prevent osteoporosis, prevent and relieve back pain. People always underestimate how good a walk makes them feel. Every time I go out and I come back, I think, oh, that that did the trick. I actually feel so much better. I think it's time to put our coat on. So, I live in a country that can get pretty cold in the winter. So I have a bit of a big coat. Don't forget your keys though.
Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a comment if you have experienced hand pain in the past with knitting or still do. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I have noticed that a lot of viewers are not actually subscribed, so if you think that might be something that is interesting to you, you can just do that for free. Just click the button, subscribe. If you did enjoy a video, um, could I possibly ask you to share it with other knitters? I think that would be very, very helpful to me and I would be very grateful. Thank you so much. See you again next time. Bye!